Deloge Consolidated Lead Company was a lead mining company in the southeast Missouri Lead District that was operated by the Deloge family in the 19th and early 20th century. The Deloge lead operations in the Old Lead Belt in the eastern Ozark Mountains helped Missouri become the world's premier lead mining area. Topic History Topic <laughs> Deloge Lead Company The businesses that would become the Deloge Consolidated Lead Company began around 1824, when Furman René Deloge founder of the Deloge family in America built a smelting furnace as an extension of his mercantile business in Potosi, Missouri. His son, Furman V. Deloge, expanded mining operations and moved management to Bon Terra, Missouri. On June 5, 1874, a charter was granted to the Missouri Lead and Smelting Company, which was renamed the Deloge Lead Company on February 21, 1876. In 1876 and 1877, the company sank three shafts and built a new mill in Bon Terra. A fire in March 1886 destroyed the concentrating mill plant and damaged the rest of the surface plant. The following year, the company's remaining assets were sold to St. Joseph Lead Company, which made Furman V. Deloge a trustee on its board, a post he would hold until his death. This merger helped the St. Joe Company become the greatest lead mining and smelting company in the world. <laughs> Deloge Consolidated Lead Company After the fire, Deloge and his family took an option on a piece of land owned by the Bogie family which was called, Mina Joe and started another mining operation under the name Deloge Consolidated Lead Company. The new company cleared the land and built company houses for its workers just west of present-day Deloge, Missouri. In 1893, the Deloges opened a new mine in St. Francois County, Missouri, just north of the St. Joe Lead Company property in Bon Terra, on a tract of land originally granted to Jean Bte. Pratt and designated as U.S. Survey No. 3099. The mill and smelting plant could produce 500 tons of lead per day. Furman Deloge II expanded lead mining operations by buying the Bogie Lead Mine Company and the St. Francois Mining Company. Along with his partners, he organized a new company called Deloge Consolidated Lead Company. The company sank mine shafts and built mills, smelting furnaces, and power stations. Ultimately, the company's lead operations required a massive real estate effort involving hundreds of land leases, purchases, options, rights of refusals, mineral rights, chattel mortgages, deed transfers, quit claims, trust deeds, judgment sales, sheriff's sales, bankruptcy sales, grants, bonds, notes, and various claims from area mine miners covering thousands of acres and hundreds of parcels of land. Railroads To serve the Deloge and St. Joe mines, Furman Deloge II built the first railroads to penetrate the disseminated lead field of St. Francois County, the Deloge Railway, the Mississippi River and Bon Terra Railway and the Valley Railroad. Deloge also helped develop the St. Louis, Iron Mountain and Southern Railway aka the Iron Mountain Railroad, which opened in 1874 from St. Louis to Texarkana, Arkansas. When the St. Joseph Lead Company built a 13.5-mile narrow-gauge railroad from its mines to the Iron Mountain tracks at Summit in Washington County, the Deloge Company paid one-third of the costs. Late-century lobbying 
The Revenue Act of 1894, also known as the Wilson-Gorman Tariff, lowered protective tariffs on lead although it raised rates on sugar and other materials. The prospect of cheaper imported lead threatened the Deloge Company and other Southeast Missouri lead businesses, so Furman Deloge II immediately went to Washington, D.C., to lobby for repeal. In the meantime, he spent part of his own fortune to continue operations, retained his employees, and stockpiled instead of sold his pig lead. The lead industry's lobbying efforts paid off in 1897, when the Dingley Act once again raised barriers to lead imports. Topic: 1900s. Around 1916, the Deloge Consolidated Lead Company moved its corporate offices from Deloge to the 1892 Rialto Building in downtown St. Louis. Despite the city's history as a fur trading center, more money passed through St. Louis as a result of the lead business in Missouri. Robert E. McHenry wrote in his 2006 book Chat Dumps of the Missouri Lead Belt. Topic. Sale In 1929, the company sold its plant to the St. Joe Lead Company for $18 million $262,639,535 today. A trade newspaper wrote, with the absorption of the Deloge concern by the St. Joseph Lead Company, one of the oldest mining companies of the district goes out of existence as a company, the Deloge Consolidated Lead Company, and specifically Furman René Deloge and Furman Deloge II, were described in 1932 as, "...the most distinguished of American mining engineers." The modern Deloge Consolidated Lead Company The name Deloge Consolidated Lead Company was used for a company formed in 2004 as an investment holding company by a Deloge family descendant, Christopher Deloge. The name was changed in 2005 to Mataket Growth, LLC. 